Lizzie here, hi guys. Sunday morning and time for a little vlog. Um, I thought I'd talk about ancestors again. Uh, an old family story. Last time uh, I chatted about that a little bit. I talked about one of my ancestors was one of the witches of the witch hunt at Salem. Well, my brother reminded me of another ancestor which uh, also, well, strangely enough, has a, a, an important part to play in American history. Uh, when I think about that, I was wondering this morning, it seems like uh, at one point a branch of the family, uh, well, the borders were more permeable then, and moved over to Canada, so it seems that whatever, uh, I was going to say, whatever part of American citizenship or whatever that we could have probably held on to must have been lost over time. Like I say, it probably wasn't so important then as the borders were very porous. But a lot of my uh, relations uh, are Americans. Okay, now what did I want to talk about? Well, I don't know if you've ever heard of Roger Ra Rogers Rangers. My ninth so, nine times grand, or great, so to say, grandfather, was a man called James Rogers, who came in the, let me see now, if I remember correctly, it was something like the, the early 1700s from Ireland. Yeah, so I also have Irish blood, it seems. Uh, came over from Ireland and settled somewhere in New Hampshire. His son was called Roger, Roger Rogers. Uh, these were the time of the uh, Indian Wars around there. So they created a group called the Roger Rangers, which were commissioned actually to probably do the dirty uh, guerrilla type fighting against the, the Indians, the American Indians at the time. And uh, at least, uh, if you hear some noise, that's Danko's pause. Um, it seems that they, uh, with time, uh, their fighting techniques, I don't know if we should say their dastardly <laughs> techniques, but their fighting techniques were used uh, to, uh, let me see if I can bring this in a little bit. Here. Their fighting techniques were used to create, finally, uh, the Green Berets as well. Not as well, it seems that they were using green uniforms or something like that. I mean, no, don't, I'll take this as as gospel truth because of course I gleaned a lot of this off the internet. But it seems that these were like the natural progression from these from this group uh, which became eventually uh, the Green Berets. So the Roger Rangers, I, I took a few notes just to help me along here, is that uh, they were part of the general war actually against uh, against the Indians and they, al they also uh, took part Oh, Quebec people love this. I just I hadn't noticed this. The Roger Rangers took part in General James Wolfe expedition against Quebec and in the Montreal campaign of 1760. Oh boy. Oh boy. That means that my ancestors on the English side of my family were part of the great conquest, so to say, which Quebec people love to remember. So in other words, my French side of the family can look at my English side of the family and say, it's part of your fault. Oh, so. Dastardly deeds, indeed. No, the way, the way I get back to what I was going to talk about, though, is that uh, it seems that people of the Roger Rangers, uh, if it was at the in, incitation of uh, uh, Robert Rogers or not, I'm not quite certain, but um, had fired, actually at the time, had you know, fought with members of the, um, of the Queen's Army, or the King's Army, sorry, at the time. And these would have been one of the reasons that, one of multiple reasons certainly, that uh, sparked the revolution, uh, so the American Revolution. So, guys dear American friends. If you're having a great time on the 4th of July in that independent country that was
was sparked with the revolution, well, you can always thank me, but you can thank uh, one of my ancestors. So that would make him something like my eighth or ninth great uncle. Yeah, pretty cool. But it is funny, though, that when you start going into history like that, and I, like I said in the last video, I had a chance that one of my cousins uh, got really involved into uh, family trees, is that you do find out that uh, at one point, of course, like we're talking like so many generations away, but that uh, probably every one of us have ancestors that played a pivotal role in one thing or another uh, in the history of our, our country or, or whatever. I will have to try and find again, the, I should have it here, but I'll have to ask my mom about it again. I do have a pretty extensive family tree, at least with just the names from, from the French side. So we can maybe, uh, maybe I can figure out what they have done on their side. I mean, I do know some stories of more recent history. But th this was for me quite an interesting one. Uh, the Roger Rangers um, were part of my background, so fighters, fighters, boy, did that gene get extinguished. <laughs> okay guys, so I hope you all have a great 4th of July, uh, have fun, and while those fireworks are going up, you think of Roger's Rangers, and while you're at it, think about me. Okay, these will be signing off, just a little historic vlog. Have fun, take care, and see you soon.